Hello guys and welcome to Crypto Bull. Today we are going to talk about Bitcoin and only Bitcoin because many of you are asking me my opinion on Bitcoin, what I think about Bitcoin, where it is going to move next, what is going to happen with Bitcoin and this is what we are going to do. But in my next videos I will be showing you new Cardano projects. These are absolutely new Cardano ADA projects which will be built on ADA, which are related to ADA and which you should pay attention to guys. But we will not be talking about any projects in this video. So let's get into Bitcoin, let's have a look what is Bitcoin doing and one thing which you should keep in mind guys is that during weekend, today we are in Saturday, Bitcoin is usually tending to hold in range of the price where it will close on Friday when CME futures closed. But one important thing what we all see or most traders who are trading Bitcoin and you know guys that I am trading behind the scenes Bitcoin myself, however I am not making many videos about my trading, about my trading experience but you are asking these videos where I am giving you my price predictions on Bitcoin. So let's talk about this in two ways. If you are an investor and you are trading swings, you are buying at the low prices and you are tending to sell at the high prices, then you shouldn't worry just buy Bitcoin and keep calm because Bitcoin will be in long term going up if you are planning to hold it only for this bull market which will be happening this year most likely however guys there is never 100% guarantee in any investment whether it's stock market or whether you are trading forex for example or cryptocurrencies but there is probabilities because we traders here in trading we are trading probabilities we are looking at charts we are seeing what charts are doing we are considering internal factors which are affecting Bitcoin. We are considering what is price action is currently doing and many more things and we are predicting the price or pretty much we are prognosing the price what will happen in this price in the future. And then there is short term trading. When in short term trading you are looking at short term time frames like for example 4 hour time frame or if you are looking 1 hour time frame you can see what Bitcoin is doing and with as, what indicators is telling. And currently what I am seeing here if we go back into daily you can see that Bitcoin is drawing a rising wedge and rising wedges are usually a bearish pattern. Let's draw this as you can see this could look like this as you can see here guys and currently to my opinion what Bitcoin is doing it is actually doing a retest of this rising wedge and it could go down if it will not continue if price will not continue upwards we could see a rather huge drop to approximately $42,000 guys and this drop could be even lower if depends on how markets will react to this. We are doing this retest right now to this rising wedge bottom or support and this could continue downwards. But Another thing which you should consider is that the weekends are not really a trading days. Whenever we are in weekend, most likely price will return to that level where price is closed in CME futures on Friday. And if we open CME futures, as you can see here, Bitcoin on CME futures on Friday it closed at 48,455. So most likely we will be trading in this range and then we will be closing this range on Monday or Tuesday or latest on Wednesday. And this is 90% only of the time that Bitcoin's price is returning to this futures price and I have been mentioning this also on my Patreon guys and if you are not joined in my Patreon, join my Patreon, links will be in description and in first comment of this video. But Bitcoin is tending always return to this price level. But also another thing which you can see here on CME futures which nobody is talking about is that we have left gap here. We have a gap from 33,000 to 34,000 and this gap haven't been closed. This gap also is not closed as you can see here from 57,600 to approximately 60,000 this gap is also not closed. So we could have here two scenarios. One is that Bitcoin will be going back to 42,000 and it could even go lower and it could even close this gap which is here at 32,800 and 34,400 and this could happen if Bitcoin continues downward. And then we can see that there is another scenario that in short term Bitcoin could actually explode to the ups upside and it could close this gap which is here from 57,000 
260,320. These are two scenarios which I am seeing, but most likely what I think what Bitcoin will be doing is that Bitcoin currently enduring Saturday and Sunday. In short term, it will be trading in this range at 49,000, but CME futures closed at $48,455. So my, most likely what I think that Bitcoin will return to that level. And if that level gets broken, we could fall even lower. And to my opinion, guys we could actually fall even lower and not continue upward just yet guys because recently we had rather huge buy-ups and currently bitcoin is kind of drawing this double top if you go for example in one hour chart you can see that actually if we go in one hour chart you can see that we are currently testing this level which is 49,300 and it is not able to break it it already tested it here it tested it here and now right now at the recording of this video you can see that it is retesting it here as well so yes guys this is my opinion what bitcoin will be doing but most likely what we will be doing like i said guys that on monday or sunday evening when bitcoin futures will open as you know guys cme futures opens at sunday evening at eight o'clock by chicago time or at two o'clock by ut time from Sunday to Monday and I believe that price will be closing or returning back to this 48,455 and currently I believe that price will be trading in this range of 49,500 and 48,000 till Monday or till Sunday evening and then it will be returning and closing this gap and afterwards only next week we will see what Bitcoin does next but currently this is no trade zone for me guys I'm not trading currently I am out of the markets and waiting what will happen because this is no trade zone we are not at the top resistance or we are not at the bottom resistance we are somewhere in the middle if you look at the price action we are actually somewhere in the middle actually if I go to four hour you can see that we are actually somewhere in the middle and this is indecisive zone so this is not the top and this is not the bottom and usually guys if you are trading if you would want to for example take longs then that would be for example a support you always take long positions if the price is trading at support and you want to take short positions or the most li more likely there will be short if the price is trading at some resistance this means at the top so to sum it up i think that bitcoin price will not be making any huge moves during weekend but next week we already will see whether bitcoin is going up or whether bitcoin will be coming back down and currently for me like i mentioned this is no trade zone i'm said waiting on the sidelines and see what bitcoin will be doing next because here we could see both scenarios so as like i mentioned in cme we have 32,000 to 34,000 unclosed gap which could also most likely could uh, could close and as you know guys currently in markets everybody is getting very very bullish but never forget guys that bitcoin always does something what people doesn't expect Expect and what most of the crowd doesn't expect it does always the opposite and it could be the case also in this scenario that we retest currently this rising wedge and bitcoin price could fall down before it continues upward but if we talk about long term this bull run is still not over and we are still going to go up and most likely by the end of the year we will reach about 100,000 pair bitcoin or even more this could be much much more it depends what will happen in markets what will happen in finances what will happen with economics in general because as you know they have printed much money and i believe that in september which is next month fed actually will be rising interest however they are saying that or joe powell said that they are not going to rise this interest rate but i believe that they will be rising this interest interest rate and i remember perfectly that in 2006 or 2005 before that crisis they were also or banks were saying that they will be giving these mortgages they will be giving loans to people forever and this will not stop but then just uh, six months later they raised the interest M market started to crash guys and this could also affect bitcoin price and believe me guys 
that if all markets will be falling then bitcoin also will be falling at least at the very beginning stages with all markets so yes guys this is just my opinion and like i mentioned in my next videos i will be reviewing a couple of cardano projects which are absolutely new and which are going to be built on cardano and or related to cardano like cardano dexes and so on and so forth if you are interested keep tuned and if you enjoyed this video leave a like share this video subscribe to my channel if you are new and see you in the next one